What is good with y'all? Welcome back, man. This is going to be a Greek life based video. If you're not interested in Greek life, if you're not interested in joining a fraternity and sorority, you probably won't be super interested in this video. But if you are interested in joining a D9 or MPHC fraternity or sorority post grad, all right, I'm going to talk about my post grad experience. Keep watching this video. And maybe you're just an undergrad and you're thinking about joining a fraternity or sorority. I'm going to talk about some of the benefits of being in a fraternity or sorority after you graduate from college. Now, before I get started, you already know I have the drip on. Um, if y'all don't know, if you're new to the channel, I am a brother of Iota Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated across in fall of 2016 at the University of Connecticut. So it's been about six years. Uh, and you know, I'm just gonna talk about my experience and talk about some things I think um, you'll benefit from in being part of a Divine Nine fraternity or sorority after you graduate. So number one thing, I want to say before I get into this is fraternity and sorority life is really going to be what you make it. It's really up to you what your experience is. I think a lot of people are under the impression sometimes that, you know, if you join a fraternity, join a sorority, life is going to be lit. You're going to have all these connections, all this stuff going on all the time. You're just going to be life at a party, everything like that's not the case. It's really still up to you to take lead when it comes to uh, forming connections with people within your fraternity, forming connections with people outside of your fraternity, and just outside of the Divine Nine as well. You know, and when I say Divine Nine, for those who don't know, Divine Nine uh, comprises or is made up of the, you know, the nine historically black fraternities and sororities uh, recognized in the United States and internationally as well. Um, so, you know, number one thing I'll say before I, I go into anything else is make sure that you really take lead, even if you become Greek, Make sure you stay active. Make sure you get to know people. Make sure that you're like active on your e-boards, active in your community. Now, the first thing I'll really dive into is that post-graduation, what being part of a fraternity for me has done is this really kept me connected to my community. All right, I think when a lot of people, you know, when you graduate, when you leave undergrad, it's very hard to kind of stay connected to your community. You start working a job. Um, you probably don't hang out with your friends as much. You're more busy. Uh, you don't really have much reason to get out in your community and do stuff. After graduating for me, you know, and moving back to like my hometown, there was still things going on. Even though I had left campus, mixers, volunteer events, all that different stuff. And it was more of a reason for me to get out the house, still volunteer, still get, you know, and, and hang around people that were my age and also people that weren't my age, networking, you know, meeting some people that are in these fraternities and sororities that are a little bit older than me you know, older brothers within my fraternity that have really just helped guide me and things like that. So it's gonna create a support network for you that is gonna be there that you may not have if you are not part of a fraternity or sorority or not part of some other organization, social organization like that. Now, number two, it might give you a sense of purpose. I know for me volunteering, I know for me serving on, you know, my local e-board for my local graduate chapter, all those things have given me, you know, more purpose. It's just outside of work. I know like life can get very focused on work. When you graduate undergrad, it's almost like work, 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 hang out with friends a little bit, work, work, work some more, hang out with friends, you know, maybe travel a little bit and stuff like that. But um, it kind of splits it up. It, it makes it less monotonous and it kind of gives you something to look forward to. It's always nice when you can come together with a group of people who are like-minded or, or people who share something in common with you um, and, and do something good for the community. And not only do that, you know, just coming together socially, having fun. This is a great one when you're relocating. Uh, when you graduate, a lot of people relocate. They might get a job in Texas or maybe get a job in California or maybe get a job somewhere, somewhere where you didn't grow up, where you don't know a lot of people. Um, being in a fraternity sorority is great. You know, it's, it's an opportunity to hop somewhere, but you're gonna automatically have connections. Now, I'm not saying they're gonna be your best friends, but for example, me, I'll use this example. Um, recently, I went to Las Vegas. When I was going out to Vegas, I was trying to find some cool spots um, out in Vegas or whatever to, to visit. I found one of the chapters that is out there in Vegas. So one of the uh, chapters of Iota Phi Theta out there in Vegas, hit them up, was like, yo, what are some good spots to visit, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of times, you know, you might have somebody in your frat, you've never met them or your sorority, and they might volunteer to show you around. Oh, you're new to the city? All right, bet. This is the local chapter. You know, we have this event coming up, blah, blah, blah. Come out, you know, we'll show you around the city. So you're gonna kind of have that connection already. And it's gonna be a lot easier for you to relocate. It's gonna be a lot easier for you kind of network. And even if you're just traveling, even if you're just going on vacation, and you're looking to just kind of explore cities or, or do things of that sort, having those automatic connections are great. Um, another example, and I won't go super long winded with this one, but went to Miami. You know, I was in a little bar spot out in Miami like a couple months back. Um, you know, I was wearing, you know, my Ida Phi Theta wristband 
and um, I actually ran into another guy, you know, who was part of my fraternity as well. Um, and he was kind of asking me about my experience. It was like an automatic connection. We had a conversation um, and it, it's just really, really a great tool for networking, great tool for getting to know people and a great tool if you plan on moving out of where you grew up or a great tool if you plan on just kind of being in a brand new space and you really know no one there, your fraternity, your sorority, that's gonna be like your, your safety net. Now, number six, you know, if you're looking for love, you never know. Uh, it could be a great place to find love. I know of a lot of people who, you know, might have been in a sorority or fraternity and, you know, found their significant other in that particular um, in that particular realm. So if you're looking for that after you graduate, you know, maybe in your mid 20s, your late 30s, whatever you like, yo, I'm trying to get out here, trying to meet different people. I, I, I don't think it's a bad route to go. And one thing I want to say, too, and I think I mentioned this, you know, closer to the beginning of the video, you don't have to join a fraternity or sorority to have these connections. You can join a lot of different social organizations. Um, I was part of Nesby in college, National Society of Black Engineers. Um, there's a lot of organizations out there that have a very similar vibe to a fraternity or sorority and do have uh, great networking opportunities and still allow you to maintain great connections after you graduate. But from my perspective and what I felt, my fraternity and my chapter in particular, have been very, very close knit. Um, it's, it's really been a brotherhood, man. Like. You know, the, the, some of the guys in my chapter, like I really consider them my brothers, um, really, really love them like my brothers. And, you know, we've had some great experiences together. They've taught me a lot. I've learned a lot. I've taught them a lot. I've gotten involved with so many different community events, um, been involved on a multitude of e-boards um, after graduating college that have really helped me stay active in the community. Um, and it's just really been uh, uh, an excellent opportunity to not only dive into my culture, but you know, dive into other people's cultures, meet different people. Um, so if you are somebody who you just, man, you wanna experience the most out of life, you're somebody who wants to be more social, you're somebody who wants to give back to your community, you're somebody who um, is, is looking to, to belong to something greater than yourself uh, and really have the opportunity to do so, so much, um, I would definitely recommend joining a fraternity. I've never regretted my decision to join Idaho Phi Theta Fraternity Incorporated. Um, I've stayed active every single year, all the way since 2016. And I'm really just trying to continue to make the most of this experience. So um, that is really my video for today, man. I wanted to talk about my experience being in you know, my fraternity after graduation and really what it's afforded me. Um, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. I might have missed something. If I did miss something, if you have more questions, let me know down below. But yeah, man, if you enjoyed that video, um, if you think of some questions, anything that I might have missed, leave them down below. I will respond to your questions. Uh, if you want to shoot me something more privately, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram or Twitter at the one Chris Jordan. More than happy to talk to you in the DMs. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Till next time, peace.